There's some more light on it. It's good so far. How about yourself? What was your MOS? 62 Bravo. 62 Bravo. It's a dermatologist. Okay. I did this there. Okay. Yeah, I was originally going to go in for a uh, power generator mechanic because I was an electrician before that. And um, I actually went to go and uh, study for my um, journeyman's test and um, started talking to my buddy, the military, and ended up taking my ASVAB instead, going off to the Army. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to continue that and, and keep going on, but I had to go do some college credits. Uh, over at Blinn and Brenham before I could leave. I, I graduated from a high school that wasn't credible enough for the Army. It was like a home slash private deal. Mm -hmm. So I had to get like 18 or 20 credits or something like that. And I knocked it out in like a mini semester over the summer and took off shortly after that. Uh, but my job wasn't available anymore. My next option would have been infantry because why not? <laughs> yeah, why not? You get the shoot guns. Yeah, you know, you get ten things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get a lot of you know useful training. I mean, if you're going to further in that field, which you know, I thought about it because I have a friend of mine. He's actually the Washington County Sheriff now. Uh, he's been a U.S. Marshal. He's been a state trooper. I mean, he's been the, the Washington County DA. Um, I met them. I, I wired on their new addition to their house, and he was like, "Man, you don't, you don't want to get into." Uh, any kind of law enforcement, this and that, he goes, you know, that, that, you, know you, you can get you right out of there and into, you know, whatever you want, whenever you get home, so let me know. And I kind of toyed with the idea, but I you know, went into, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, oil and gas right after that. You got to travel around a lot more with that. I could have had this out a while ago if I would have made a huge cut and made it easier on myself. But uh, I want to try and keep the scar small for you, so I'm just sure. trying to work it out. Sure. Slowly. That's why it's taking a little longer. It's pretty deep, huh? I mean, something relative. Where were you stationed? In the um, morning. Mostly Fort Gordon, Fort Gordon, but I've been overseas a couple times. And okay. What's Fort Gordon at? Uh, Augusta, Georgia. Oh, Georgia, okay. Yeah. That's why I did all my boot and, uh, and uh, well, amateur always goes through Georgia. Yeah, Fort Benning. Yep, Fort Benning. I deployed out of Fort Benning and flew in there and then oh, wow. out of there. All right, yeah, so I was stationed over at First Campbell, or uh, First, uh, First Strike. Third and first airborne, I'll get it out in a second, Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And we flew right out of there to Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was to uh, Kazakhstan, or one of the stands. They had an Air Force base. And uh, from there, we, we, we flew into CAF, and then we you know, convoyed out to a cops and you know, whatnot. Some good footage back there, dude. Yeah, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not looking at it. I am. <laughs> nope. guy. Uh, uh, that's a big piece. Nah, it's pretty small. Well, actually, for a lipoma, 